This is one of the most amazing phones on the market. Let's check it out. Dave Taylor here, and I'm checking out this. Well, let me open it up. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 5G smartphone, and as you can see, it folds. It is an amazing phone with a big, bright screen, and when you close it up, a little tiny notification screen that actually gives you some decent functionality right there on the front. But look at those dimensions. So cool. This is a really cool phone. And the idea of having this sort of folding screen is really fascinating. Now, it comes with some problems, which I'll talk about in a bit. But let's start by just talking about the phone itself. So it features a 6.7 inch AMO LED 1080 by 2640 screen so it's a nice high res high density screen and then this front screen is a little 1.9 inch also amo led cover screen it's using gorilla glass victus so it is pretty tough it should last pretty well with some caveats again we'll get to that in a few minutes powered by the qualcomm snapdragon chip the sm8350 888 octa-core with Adreno 6600 GPU, it has cameras. Of course, all these smartphones have cameras. In fact, I have lots of cool camera demos, so we're going to get to that in just a second. So, facing the back, you have a 12 megapixel f1.8 wide and a 12 megapixel f2.2 ultra wide. And then the front camera is a 10 megapixel f2.4 camera. So, Let's actually go ahead and jump in and I'll show you some of the camera demos that I have. First off, these are four levels of zoom. I'm just tapping on the different zoom levels in the camera app. And then here's a selfie. And then here's a demo of night mode on my street. And the night mode's not glorious. I have to say that my iPhone 13 does amazingly better with night mode, but those photos overall, I'm really impressed with the camera here. That selfie in particular was very nuanced on the colors there. But what about video? All right, well, here's a regular video. And then we can switch into slow-mo. And then possibly my favorite of all the modes, one that I really love on this device, is director mode. And you'll see how that works. So this is director's view, where it's actually simultaneously recording the selfie camera, which is what I'm on, and the front-facing camera, which is the actual river. And I'm hoping you can hear me, but this is a really cool mode. And with a wireless microphone hooked up to the phone, there's a lot you can do with this. And this obviously is really great for social media. Anyway, I've got a lot of pictures of the river, and you can see why, I hope, this is one of my favorite little secret spots that I use for testing cameras. The Flip 3 features a 3300 milliamp hour battery, which should give you somewhere around 30 hours or so, depending on what you're doing. As with all these phones, you can really stress your battery with really high CPU demand apps and applications and usage but you can also sort of nurse it along if you're just listening to music or it's just sitting there and giving you notifications while you're working or something, your battery's gonna last longer. Eight gig of RAM, you can get it in 128 gig or 256 gig of storage, and it runs Android 11 and Samsung's One UI 3.1.1. And let's see, I can't, not sure I can really show you much of what that looks like, but it's pretty slick. Um, it's very fast. It's very responsive. This is like a really a state-of-the-art phone here. It is IPX8 water resistance, which means you can drop this in the shallow end of your pool and take 30 minutes to pick it out and it'll still be fine. I do not recommend taking 30 minutes. I do not recommend dropping it in your pool. <laughs> <laughs> but suffice to say, if you splash coffee on it or something, you do not have to immediately panic and say, oh my God, what did I just do? 
So dimensions wise, it is 166 millimeters by 72 millimeters by seven millimeters, which translates to 6.5 inches by 2.8 inches by 0.27 inches. So that's just about a quarter of an inch thick. And when you have it closed, of course, now you have different dimensions. So now it's 34 by, uh, sorry, 3.4 by 2.8 by 0 0.63 inches or 86 millimeters by 72 millimeters by 16 millimeters. Got all that? So suffice to say, you close it and it's just a tiny, amazing little phone. I mean, honestly, just like this, this is just so cool with the time displayed and everything on the front. I really like this, but the fact that you can actually tap on it and then use it and get controls like music controls, are, it's really, really cool. Comes in a ton of colors. Cream, phantom black, green, lavender, gray, white, and pink. The last three are online order only, which leads us to the question, is it a good phone? Is it worth the money? And the answer is that it's an amazing phone, but it's still, I don't feel it's quite ready for prime time. The issue with it is the screen and the folding. So even right here, there's a visible bump, but the problem is what's it gonna be like in a year? What's it gonna be like in two years? And my sources of Best Buy tell me that they're getting a lot of these as returns because people are complaining that it's delaminating at the hinge. And what they mean by delaminating is that this screen is actually layers of material and the layers start to come apart, which means that your hinge is no longer a magic seamless thing when you open it up, but something that visibly is not working correctly or is bent or is warping or something. So I think that this journey for us to get these bending and flexible screens, we are definitely on that journey and they're definitely moving along pretty fast, but I'm not sure I would recommend this as an acquisition because I think that there's still another couple of generations of flexible screen to go through before we really have great tech. Now, you might be someone that wants to be so on the cutting edge that you're okay if it's a little bleedy. <laughs> and that's what this might be. This might be the bleeding edge of phones because there is just a huge level of coolness. When I've had it out just to play around with and just try, people immediately gravitate over and they want to see it and they want to like look at it and see how that fold works and everything. And that's really cool. If you're sick of your friends talking about the latest iPhone, you know, Apple can't do this with its phones. So this is definitely one where there's a lot of sort of tech sex appeal, if you will. Um, but on the other hand, if you're going to have a phone for the next four or five years, which might be your usage pattern, then I don't know that this is going to last that long. I think you're going to have some serious issues. So at the least, you probably want to get an insurance and protection program. But that's up to you. Now, really all that's left to talk about is the price, and I will talk about the price, but before we get there, I'm going to ask if you could subscribe to my channel. Really appreciate when you do that. It's just a click or a tap on that subscribe button on the lower right, and give me some feedback. I gave you lots of photos and videos. What else would you have liked to have seen about this phone? Um, that's it. I always appreciate your feedback, and then let's get to the price. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Flip 3 smartphone, and it is $999.99 or $27.78 a month times 36 months. And I got this one through AT&T, so I'm going to link to them, but you can obviously also get it through Samsung.com. Love the technology. This is so cool. This has just an amazing piece of technology, but I'm not sure I would want to have this for a multi-year smartphone. So that's my assessment. I'm going to go back and take some more video because I really was impressed with that. <laughs> and I'll hope to catch you in my next video.